YouTube, this is Deadly Laugh coming at you with another episode of The Ultimate Guide to City Skylines. Now, this is taken from my stream, so there'll be some interactions. You'll hear stuff in the background, usually my kids or lullaby, since it's the only time I have to stream that night when they're going to bed. So just, uh, you know, disregard that and just enjoy the gameplay. Hope you learned something. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn that bell on. If you want to, drop down in the comments. And uh, let me know what you think about this video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Um, and also, link in the description for my Twitch channel. I will see you guys in the rest of the video. Have a good one. Hey there, YouTube. Daily Laugh here. I am going to show you in this episode how to simply and easily start any city. Using those rules I explained in the last episode. If you did not catch that, I'll leave a link down in the description. Go watch my rules for starting a successful city in City Skylines. So, starting off with, I always like to try to get a map where the road is kind of in the center, or at least easily in the center. This one, the map actually started right here, so I just extended it out and up. Um, because I like to have a right-hand drive road, a uh, industry area on the right, and then I like to have residential on the left. Um, when you start, you'll have nothing but residential demand. And so that's what you should zone for first. So over here, what I did, you notice I actually got the residential off first. Quickly turned that into a uh, avenue because I'll go into detail about that over there in a second. Um, but this little block right here is 43 long by 30 tall. Uh, and so what I do is then come in with a one way. I come in a uh, square off. You know, I'll put it all the way through initially, uh, and then I'll do that on the left hand side. I'll just do the first one uh, about a square or so off. It kind of depends on what I'm feeling like, but some sort of grid like this. Um, and then I'll upgrade these inner roads to be two ways. Um, I do this so that there's a dedicated way into the neighborhood, a dedicated way out. Uh, when you're first starting, <clears throat> what you can do is you can simply zone this first section right here <coughs> excuse me as residential because uh, that means all the people are going to um, build houses there you only have to build your pipes there and you know like if you're me i like to use um, wind turbines to start off because i i very i cut it very close um, <coughs> um, but if you want to go ahead and um, zone out the whole area that's fine what I would still do is I'd still have my pipes in here to cover area everywhere I'm about to zone but only zone once it's connected to power because you don't want to have like this section right here zone but you're you know because of money you can only run your power line to like right over here and then you're sitting in the failing um, but with this little blueprint you can just copy it over like I did here as I'm expanding um, so, and so what I'm end up going to do is I'm going to copy both of these up here. I have one large rectangular grid. Um, that's going to be my city center in the future. Uh, soon after you start getting commercial and industrial demand, what I go ahead and do uh, as soon as I get some commercial demand is these first two blocks you can see right here. Um, next my avenues uh, that residential is going to be in. I zone those commercial. Uh, because I want to stop people from as, as much as possible parking on the side of the road. Because you don't get the avenue with, uh, with the grassland until uh, 5,000 population. And so just a little easy way to keep people off of parking avenues uh, without using mods. And then anything like this that is going to be bordering um, <clears throat> in industry or a highway, uh, I go ahead and zone all four. Uh, buildings can build back four squares, and the ends I also uh, start off zoning four. Uh, but if I add on to that, then obviously that zoning will change. Um, <clears throat> after that, what I do is I build out this kind of blueprint for an industry sector. And what I do is just all one ra one way roads coming off the main inlet, all the way through, kind of like a slip road back on. And so the I'll come out and the first road. Uh, off of the flat, not this one, this isn't first, this is the zero road if you want to think of it that way. I go up uh, 
I went up here, I went up 20 units, um, and then I came over and back down <clears throat> as demand increased for industry. I added another road um, as demand increased more. I went out another 20 for both of these, came back down because what happens is your trucks are going to come in, they're going to get off, they're going to come up, and they're gonna, if they need to come down here, they come down here, come around and out, come around and out. Uh, so what I will do is I'll actually end up adding about two more of these roads up here, the connection, um, so that the industry flows really nice, really smooth until I can get those highway roads. It keeps it out of residential, commercial, really helps the flow for long term into the game until I can relocate industry somewhere else. And so then later what will happen is uh, all of this will become office buildings down the road. Uh, that's what you get. Uh, once you upgrade, once you get to 7,500 people, you can zone offices. It counts as industry. <clears throat> now, this little back road right here, uh, I start building because after a little bit, uh, you'll get waves of traffic just backing up, and there's nothing you can do. So I like to have a secondary um, back road that um, every couple of up roads will connect to it, but then that will connect straight to the highway itself. So they'll have more than one way out of this industry road or industry area, excuse me. Uh, now back to this avenue over here. So the reason I have this as an avenue starting here and not just starting like right here is because of this dirt road. I really like to have my um, power plant. So you see I have a coal power plant now over here providing my power, no wind, uh, and then my dump. Um, what this is for is because usually I would have it right here with some services and whatnot. Um, but because of all the trucks having to go out, that really caused uh, backup as my city was growing. And so having it over here on this dedicated road where nothing's really going to come out here, it has this avenue. It can get to everywhere. It needs to go pretty easily. Uh, I'm pretty happy. I mean, really, uh, once I get um, the policy heavy traffic ban, I'll I'll do this. I'll connect them right here. So if it's, if trucks have to go into the industry sector, they can just come out right here. I don't want to do that now because then industry trucks are going to hit here and come down probably. I don't. I want to avoid that. Um, <clears throat> the next thing that I haven't talked about yet is your water. So you want to make sure that uh, you place your water uh, pretty far away, your inlet from your outlet, um, because you don't want your drain pipe, you know, making your city s sick. So pay attention to these arrows so you know which way the water is flowing. Um, I try not to put my uh, water pumping station within 20 units of the drain pipe just to be safe. I mean, you can see here the pollution doesn't go far, so like something like right here would probably be okay. But I just like to space out just to make sure. Um, and again, I put in the pipes before I even zone and hit run, um, <clears throat> just so that as it's growing, I don't really have to worry about water. Uh, following my other rules. My budget, as soon as I start, uh, you don't have, you can do this or the loan budget. The only thing you can mess with, I put everything down to 50% for electricity, water, and your roads <clears throat> because that will slow down how much money you lose until population starts moving in. Uh, once, and that will, if you do everything like this, you'll hit the um, 440 or 480. Each map, your uh, milestones are different numbers. Uh, but you'll hit your little hamlet really quickly, which gives you taxes and loans, um, which then you should uh, you should pause and raise all your taxes 12%. I've never had anybody complain about 12% taxes with or without um, parks or anything. And then loans, <clears throat> take that first loan that you can get. I'm actually going to take this, pay it back, and then take it so I can get some extra money um, so that you can go ahead and get your services down, like your garbage and whatnot. Um, this city, actually, <clears throat> I've only put 15 or 20 minutes into it, and it's already at 701 people, <clears throat> um, 58,000 in the bank, 400 a week. I'm losing a little bit now because I had rezone and added on, but uh, that number will change. My unemployment here is 3%. Happiness to 70. So, I mean, that's just a pretty good start that I like to do for all my cities. And um, this will be the city that I'm using on all these videos as I'm explaining in depth what you can do in City Skylines. First, starting with vanilla, no mods, um, 
going all the way up through the latest DLC, and uh, and I'll share with the the mods I use. Uh, uh, when I do, I I sparingly use them because the game is pretty pretty good as is. I don't like to really try and control it too much. Um, just gotta be smart about how you design everything. I'm also not a very uh, detailed oriented person. I am an engineer, so you know coming in and having like tree and prop anarchy so I can make you know, a certain area look just right with the props and trees and stuff like that's that's not me. Um, so. What you'll see is you'll see really good design. You'll see probably a lot of grids in the beginning before we have enough money and space to do what we want. Um, and my goal is to take all of this area and build out a city of uh, a million people or as close as I can get to it. Uh, so that's it for me. If uh, you like this video, please leave a like, uh, comment down below, uh, hit that subscribe button, make sure that bell is on. Uh, so you can get notified whenever more videos are uploaded. Um, next video, we will be expanding past this, and we'll be talking about the services, um, what to do with them, where to put them, uh, and stuff like that. So until next time, guys, have fun. Yeah.